Hello, Monica here, and I'm doing another update to the video on linking your business page in the workplace section of your personal timeline, your personal profile on Facebook in the about section. So you may have seen other profiles on Facebook, maybe when you're looking through members of a group or just scrolling through your newsfeed where it shows their name and then what they do at and it links to their business page. And a lot of people ask, you know, how do you get that to link properly? So the first thing you want to do is go to your personal timeline and go to the about section. You can either click on update info or about at the top of your personal timeline. Either one of those will work. And then over on the left side from the about section, select work and education, and you're going to want to add a workplace. What you're going to add there is your business page where it says company and your position is going to be anything you want to say before the at. So in this example, that at is pre-filled by Facebook. Anything you write before the at is your position and anything after the at should be your business page. So I'm going to actually go through and do a walkthrough of how to do this properly so that it links to your business page. So like I said, you want to go to the about section of your personal timeline and then select the work and education section over here on the left. Here in work and education, you will have the option to add a workplace. You may have already done this, so you'll see some companies here. If there's anything here you do not want listed that has been added maybe incorrectly or you no longer work there or you don't want to associate that as a workplace, you can hover over to the side here until you see options and you can delete or edit. So you can do that for each one of these. So what we want to do is click on add a workplace. And here you will be able to add in um, the name of the, it'll say company where you've worked. This is where you're going to put the name of your business page. So we're going to use the, because mine are already in here, I'm going to use the uh, courses page, which the title of that page is Courses and Programs by Monica Ramos.tv. So the actual title of your page, the name of your page is this one here. Uh, this is your username and then also the address of your page. So facebook.com slash courses by Monica is how you get here. But the name of my page here, the title of it is Courses and Programs by Monica Ramos TV. So that's what you want to type in here, the name of your page. So as you start to type, all these different options will come up. You want to type it exactly as you have it. And Facebook will recognize that it's your page, so eventually it should show up. If not, make sure you type out the whole name um, until you see it here. Now, once you see it in the drop-down, go ahead and click on it to select it. And I know that's my page because I can tell by the logo. Now here, where it says, what is your job title, that is what you're going to see before the at symbol. So whatever you write here at, if you leave it blank, it will just say works at, which is fine. You can do that if you don't have anything, um, you know, you can't think of what to say here. You don't actually have a title or you want to come back to it. You can always edit that later. So you can leave that blank. It'll just say works at. If you do not check the box that says I currently work here, it will show as worked at past tense and it may not display properly. So you want to make sure you have the box checked that I currently work here. You will need to input your city and town. So you don't have to put your address, but you can start to type in your city. And I recommend putting in a description, but it is not necessary for it to work. So for now, I'm just going to skip it because I'm just doing this as an example. If you want to put your, you know, when you started there, um, it'll default to to present if you have this checked. Otherwise, it'll want to ask, well, when did you leave? So go ahead and leave that checked if you currently work there. And you can put your start date, but you don't have to. Where this comes into play is if you have more than one workplace, like these other ones here, um, it will put the one that you, if you still work there, the one you most recently began. So I still work at both of these. But because I began this business in 2012, whereas this one I began in 2008, this one will be on top. And the one that's on top is the one that is most likely to show. It's not going to show everywhere you worked. It'll just show 
uh, one of the places where you currently work, and it'll take the one that you started most recently. So keep that in mind. If you have two businesses and you want one of them to be more visible than the other, your options would be to make one um, restricted, like the, the, the audience, and one public, or simply make the uh, one that you want more visible to be most current. Or you can also just delete any, everything else so there's only one, which is probably the best. That's what I would recommend. If you have several and you really only want to show one, just don't include the other ones. Just include the one business that you want to kind of follow you around Facebook when people click on um, or hover over your name. So once you have that in there, another recommendation I make is you want it to be public. You definitely want it to be public because this is something you want to expose your business. You want to have uh, publicity for, so you definitely want that public. And then you hit save changes. Now, it's going to tell you this info has been saved on your profile and it's going to ask you, would you like to share this as a post on your newsfeed now? And that's when it'll say, Monica updated her profile and now works at, or if you were changing the date, it would say no longer works at. And so it'll send out a story in the newsfeed about your you know, new career, new job title or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and click no because I don't want to share this. So it's up to you. If I did want to, you know, if this was my real business page and I wanted to make it, you know, publicize it, then I would probably, yes, share it. And I would do it during a time when, you know, most people are, on are online during the day and most likely to see it. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and hit no. So you do have that option. It's not just going to automatically send out a story. But now it's listed here as a workplace. And on my timeline, I can go there. You can see um, just by hovering over my name. So if anyone were to hover over my name because I commented on something or I'm a member in a group or anywhere where I've posted um, as my personal profile, just hovering over the name gives you a little bit of information about them. And you'll see here it says works at and it has a link to my page. So it says works at because I left my position blank. So if I had said um, instructor, if I made that my position, it would say instructor at Courses and Programs by Monica Ramos.tv. What's nice here is that people can go and click on that right from hovering over your name and go straight to your business page. And so here a visitor is taken directly to my page, or if they want, they can sign up, like it, message me, check out my timeline, and all that. So let me show you some examples of some users that are doing this correctly and how it makes it easy to do business with other people. So here are a few um, examples of what works and what doesn't. Um, I was trying to find just a random post here in my newsfeed, and there's a few good ones here from some commenters. So here's one that is, if I hover over this person's name, um, that they put their position, like what they do, has too many words in it. So here he's got businessman, brand and graphic designer, translator, and uh, probably interpreter interpreter and then after all that is probably at whatever his business page is but because there's so much there um, I don't really get to see what his business page is and I don't have the link here so clicking here would take me to that person's about section and then I could click on their business page but it's an extra step um, the one here below that um, really simple founder CEO at and then this is actually clickable so if I click on that it takes me to this business page uh, where I can learn more about the business this one here is an example of an incorrect way to link so this doesn't say it's not linked to a business page they just put in their employment that they're self-employed but when I click on that I'm taken to one of these kind of like generic info pages of other people who have said they also are self-employed. So it's just really generic. This picture was probably contributed by another user. Sometimes it'll just show like a briefcase or something, you know, like a, just a, a stagnant image. But it'll tell you here that this page was automatically generated based on what users said they were interested, but it's not actually affiliated to any page or anything. It's just a work status that a lot of people use, uh, apparently one point, almost 1.8 billion people. <laughs> 
So definitely another thing you don't want to do. You want it to be your business page. So this one here was is one of the better examples. Um, Raymond Scott Hatcher says that he's the founder and CEO at Hatcher Online. I click on that and I'm taken to the business page for that. And you know, I don't I'm not friends with this person, um, but I'm able to hover over the name because it was someone who commented on a post in my newsfeed. So I didn't know don't even have to be friends with this person, but because they set up their workplace to be their business page and made it public, anybody, whether they're friends with the person or not, can have access, immediate access to the business page just by hovering over the name. Now, if you ever want to remove that, you come back to click on the about section, click on work and education, and just hover over the option here over on the right and simply delete it. And you'll have the option to delete it completely. I can hit remove or change the dates. Maybe you just want to say I don't work there anymore and make it past tense. I'm going to just go ahead and completely remove it for this example. But that's where you would make those changes. I'm going to hit save and it will no longer be listed as one of my workplaces. So some troubleshooting tips if this isn't working for you when you come in to add a workplace. Make sure that you have the page name typed correctly exactly as you have named it. If you do not have see it pop up as one of the options down here, go ahead and type the name out fully as it's supposed to be. Uh, do not select something from the drop down if it's not your if it's not your page and just click over into the side area here outside of the field here, the little box where you're entering the information and make sure that the name just stays as is. As long as you are the admin of that page, it is your page, then it should automatically recognize that and it will link it even if it doesn't do it here. I've also found that if you like your own page, it helps to recognize it in the drop down. It's not necessary, but for some people it seems to help. If you just created the page like today or yesterday, you may need an extra day or two for it to show up. That's not always the case, but I just wanted to throw that out there as one of the things that maybe, you know, if it's not working for you, that could be why. So just give it an extra day. Make sure that you have the city and town filled in. Um, Position and description are recommended, but it's I don't believe it's necessary, but the more you fill in the better Definitely want it to say that you work here currently you can add when you started and you want definitely want to make it public and then go ahead and save changes. I Hope this was helpful and for more tips like this be sure to check out monicaramos.tv slash FB tips. Thanks